Let us show you this aggressive little dirty ass pick following us in the night. They want to, they want, they want to get a smack in and shit like that, so that they can go and lie in the gang. Look, follow us in the night into positions where we lay, where we sit here. A little dirty ass pick putting his ass up in the air like somebody want to fuck a pick. Look, Terry Astro here reporting for you. Look, just look at it. Take a good old look. That's how those little dirty ass motherfucking uh, little specks be rolling. They run out like that on a nigger and the nigger turn around and fuck them. Because they wanna, they wear the color black. In the middle of the night. That's your dirty speck. That's how aggressive they are. Yeah. That right there is how aggressive they are. That's the aggression that you don't see. She positioned herself. You're not supposed to know that. It's a, it's a prostitute. It's a prostitute. <laughs> She's selling ass. She's trying to trade ass. For what? And with whom? Ain't it funny? Terry Ashford reporting it for you. Now I'm going to jump in. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing everybody's pacing themselves. They're walking through. Uh, I'm seeing a, a, a consistent synchronized pace as if I'm watching synchronized swimming. And there's no need of all that. I, I, we do want you to go about life normal. Normal as the, your life would normally have you to do. Except if you carry out some criminalized, uh, criminal, some criminal behavior, we ask that you keep that somewhere out of Terry Dwayne Asher's sight, uh, out of his, uh, away from him, because we don't do all those things over here, and we understand how life is. We are not trying to live in a, uh, uh, say we're holier and mightier than thou, but we don't live like that. We don't like to live like that, even when we have to lie, do a little white lie every now and then, if we do. But we don't like to live like that. We're asking you, please take that over there with somebody else. Please get it in a distance away from me where I won't have to worry about that. It might be coming anywhere near me. Okay, y'all, it's Terry Dwayne Ashford. And at the time now, it's struck 5 p.m. We're here right now on the corner of 8th Street North uh, Southeast. 8th Street Southeast at that 400 block. At Pennsylvania Avenue Southeast at that 700 block. We're here looking at a sign here that's giving us a going straight toward the Old Navy Hospital. Going right toward the barracks row. Going right toward that Marine barracks. Going right toward the Navy Yard. But if you go left, you're going toward Lincoln Park. That is where we are right now here at 5 p.m. where most of the time, most of the days when we're reporting for you, we come here and give you uh, early evening report and update from Street Now News. <laughs> yeah, that's me, Terry Dwayne Ashford, bringing you Street Now News. Here from Washington, D.C., son of Wilma here, B. Uh, CID number already documented for you as BCID 2671319 from that state of Mississippi birth files in the state of Mississippi that should not be confused for the state of Missouri as my uh, ex-friend Juan was from. Juan was from Missouri uh, and Terry Ashford here was from the state of Mississippi. We're here to uh, give you an update on uh, this Monday uh, early evening, afternoon bringing it to you. Street now news. Now we here has begun today or beginning today processing some of our reports in a different way for you so that we can get it we can document via videography as well as photography along with uh, the audio that we are bringing you in this particular report here that is brought to you by none other than that son of Wilma. We're doing that for a reason because we have lots and lots of fraudulent behavior we have identified uh, equating identities that are not really identities at all that are mustered together put together here by uh, graphic illustration uh, techniques uh, that goes far 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 beyond and before journalism even uh, began to rock and roll like that so we are rocking and rolling here for you here and we are changing some methodologies to grasp some of this this activity 
that others, uh, some others don't see fraudulent identity, messing around with a person's identity as a crime. Well, it is a crime. It's a crime when you can take that identity and pose somebody else as, as uh, a criminal to be arrested uh, when you as the criminal go Roman free. That is why it's a crime. And that's why we are changing our methodology to making sure that you're on top of it like we're on top of it and like we're on top of you carrying out those crimes. Those crimes that you don't call a crime, we're fixing it for you so that you don't get the wrong one in your courtroom and destroy your whole thing. Okay? Okay, we're there. Now regarding today here, we started out early this morning here with, uh, a, with carrying out a new way of, of asking for money. Asking for money. Although our supplier has not asked for any of this extra, extra thing that's, that we're doing for ourselves, we found a reason why we should do it uh, for ourselves uh, that will help and aid uh, him making decisions, him or her making decisions on whether to provide uh, the funding that will provide the procurement uh, for us. In this particular case for an individual who goes by the name of Son of Wilma been attacked and that was attacked by uh, those crime scenes. We have to seek funding uh, to get the beer, bare necessities of life. We don't have a problem with doing that. We also uh, have taken an extra step in providing the, the um, the documentation and necessary uh, necessary not necessarily to our funders right yet but that would be necessary for them to to say well we're giving it to him because he deserves it we want uh, anyone who's providing anything to us for us and, and uh, to help us we want them to know that we deserve it uh, by asking for it so there shouldn't be any doubt about questioning or about whether um, we should give funding to a person who has been under the attack of being abused by anybody. Whether it's your politics, whether it's uh, a political uh, scheme of a gorilla or a monkey ape, none of that shit. Uh, so we went about, we're changing our methodology of asking uh, that we choose to use at any particular time. That is what the start of the day was, is we provided, uh, we, we provided the request in a different way, uh, and that request was sent over, and it made it, uh, it what, we, what it appeared is that it allowed the funding to have been secured a lot quicker in providing the documentation that was needed beforehand. And that's what we are working with right now here as we are providing you with this this particular report right here is captioned uh, all of the videography photo photography and the voice of Terry Dwayne Ashford uh, who you are hearing right now son of Wilma that voice that is going to be audio, uh, audible to you through our that guy uh, radio uh, report uh, coming soon today uh, this is the report from Terry Dwayne Ashford here while we are right here at the corner of 8th Street Southeast Washington uh, DC I see there's nothing more on this report other than the fact that it's a briefing and a status report a status report of what has happened throughout the course of Street Now News this day here under the direction of Terry Dwayne Ashford son of Wilma and uh, we uh, just wanted to bring it all together for you let you know let the uh, the adversary uh, the opposition the agenda opposition know that we are ready to give them what they want when they want it. We don't have to do it like this, but we can. That's just people are doing stuff that they can do whether they need to be doing it or not. We can do it like that. We can always be ready to give you what you want uh, when you try uh, the wrong ones. And then uh, when you try the right ones too, because that's what Pepsi Cola says, which we might be trying to get uh, sponsorship through Pepsi. Right one, baby, right one, baby, right one, baby, right here. Whitney Houston got that Pepsi uh, contract, too. You know, she snapped that glass with that voice. Who knows? Who knows uh, what type of contract we get? But we want the contracts that we care about, one that's reflecting the right things. You got the right one, baby to give you what you want. I'm Terry Ashford, Terry Dwayne Ashford, son of Wilma, BCID number 2671319, all for you. We know why they tried to steal the official birth certificate. You 
you got the right one, baby. I can't believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe so much drama be going on walking the street. <laughs> it is so funny. Yes, it is. You ain't supposed to see it as nothing. <laughs> it's funny, though. God dang. This think it was supposed to rush, 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 rush. It was supposed to rush to where we are. And we're doing nothing but reporting it right here for you. Right as we provided you with that wonderful, wonderful speech. Right here, 4th Street, Southwest, and M Street announced it. It rushed. Terry Ashford reported it for you. And it rushes such a hard. Look at him. Look, 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 look. We want you to motherfucking see this bitch shit. Now, if we weren't smart, guess what? If we weren't smart, this motherfucker right here would lie, relying on some FOP law intervention of lies. And it has been handled by us already. Got them beforehand. Terry Ashford reporting it for you. It is Terry Dwayne Ashford here coming in here with you for you and about you. Time that 1244, 1244 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on July 15th, 2024. Today is, I think it's Monday. Monday here. We're waiting here for two minutes on that 70 or that 79. 10026. One seven. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford here. That guy radio bring it to you so you can get it, understand it, be with it, uh, and I love it. Love it, live it, and live a better life. It's what we're suggesting and recommending for you here as we are reporting for you. Now, what we have identified here is one, a formula, a formula that always seems to work. A badge. Let's talk about this, okay? A badge. A badge hidden, hidden on your side. A badge. Map to intentional violations. Intentional violations aimed at a particular ploy and a badge. A badge that you didn't know that would probably be on your side. And I'm Terry Ashford reporting it for you how that would be a success for crimes. If the badge is on your side, a badge that you trust, a badge that's supposed to be trusted, a badge, a badge that is supposed to be trusted and we suggest you support it and trust it. If that badge has sought it and you don't know that badge has sought it and then you go trust that badge trying to do the right thing, you have crimes that would have won on the backside. That's why we're right there here. Right here reporting for you here is this particular officer want to look at me. Well, you have no reason to look at a normal person, especially a journalist who's accountable for you. Taxpayer dollars, you're being paid on duty. You're not being paid to be on anybody's side. You're being paid to be on a duty for all of us, Mr. Officer. And that's what we're reporting for you today here. It's Terry Ashford here reporting for you as we are hope that this officer got his shit in order his brains and his faculties in order as we're going to carry out this particular ordeal for uh, you. Now, we don't care about all that. We don't, we're not even worried about all that. We don't even be thinking about that. But we're reporting it for you. I'm Terry Ashford reporting it for you here. Um, again, uh, we won't be intimidated. Censorship of journalism is not approved by the government. Definitely by a badge who might hope to have intimidated someone by falsifying policy. Journalism, we know the policies. We use the policies in making you accountable. Here, we have left that particular bus stop now and on that bus 5518, and we want you to continue on with what you're doing, thinking you're gonna be bad enough to whoop up on journalism. Whoop up on journalism. Something that won't be happening. There you have Terry Dwayne Ashford supporting a black woman who beat the fucking little spick's ass because she needed to. The black woman looked up and had a bunch of fucking niggers and faggots, butt fuckers, running behind trying to fight the black woman. Terry Dwayne Ashford came to the defense of the black woman. We're to fight it for you. Take your black faggot, you know, black nigger ass on, bitch. Fucking little nigger saw a black man taking care of the black woman. The black nigger left. Blow this motherfucking little black nigger faggot shit up, bitch, for you. There, we want you to be aware of 
that we are here to protect our people. The men are running behind the black women to fight her. And we are here. We are here. Hey, 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 hey. It was two women. Leave her alone. Terry Ashford here reporting for you. The men are supposed to be running behind the black woman to jump on the black woman for beating up on the fucking spick bothering her. Terry Ashford's reporting it for you. Get your shit in order, you little niggers. This is what thought that I didn't see it right there. Is working schemes with liquor. This is Hispanic right here. It thought I didn't see it. It's working schemes with the uh, liquor that's placed in the surrounding area. It's working a scheme with the liquor that's placed in the surrounding area. On the bus, there was a black man that came onto the bus. When it came onto the bus, it sat beside us with a beer can. Across the beer can, the Hispanics had post pasted uh, uh, bottles of wine right there. This right here was stashed up behind us as we were carrying out the sitting over here. It was following us, Hispanic women. Uh, the Hispanic women, as you saw there at the Dollar General store. She just need some help. She just need some help. Okay, have a good day. See how you handle that? And right here we have... They're placing dirty and had plants of frozen beer cans and liquor on Terry Dwayne Ashford. That's your Hispanic woman. They would stand behind us and in front of us and buy stuff with the intention of having whatever that stuff bought poses my receipts. Terry Ashford reporting for you for the Hispanics to lie. We're on top of it. There's your little Hispanic boy on the field offering, as was the international little boy did earlier. This is Terry Ashford here reporting for you all the events uh, that were um, actually reporting on by video for today, July 15th. The very last video uh, regarding the alcohol was added from July 14th. And the reason why is because the frame that they, the criminals have tried to use to sabotage me was to attempt to use alcohol placed in my vicinity and blame that somehow through imaging on the victimized, preyed individual named Terry Dwayne Ashford. It is now, right now, uh, the, right soon after that man left uh, this particular barrel area in which we got that reported, came a woman uh, in pink jogging pants and a black top with two kids to go over at the other playground while I am at this particular playground uh, to carry out some type of activity that at this particular time of the night having those kids out and that woman showing up in the proximity of the timeline that we already had that crime scene uh, involved in this woman has to be nothing but crimes is what we believe and we're reporting it right now let's go ahead and check really quickly see what the time is for you so you can make sure you have it as this particular report is an audio report by Terry Dwayne Asher that's bringing together all the events uh, in the video uh, visual videography reporting for today July 15 2020 for uh, and one uh, that sprawled over into July 16th which is the one where the black male uh, in the barrel left. I'm Terry Ashford reporting for you. We're going to grab that time for you right now. So we see, uh, identify when that other black female followed. It appears to be a turnkey of a hotel room uh, that was aimed at Terry Dwayne Ashford. And we are right here, uh, right there, uh, uh, ready for you. And having confirmed the time, the time right now is 1.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when this woman with this two kids arrived and stashed in the second playground over here pretending to be playing at two o'clock in the morning on the playground equipment. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford finding the disgust in what a woman is. I just found a disgust in what a woman is doing all of this for nothing. You ain't getting nothing anyway. I ain't giving you shit. 
I'd never take care of a woman and another man's kids who chased after me like this for some goddamn faggots. You got life fucked up forever. I won't have no success because I wouldn't belittle myself to even look at a fucking slit like that. Terry Ashford here reporting for you the events uh, that I uh, saw this woman come at 1.52 a.m. in the morning as soon as we got rid of uh, the black male it appears to be a turnkey with the objective and the plan uh, to wear down their opponent. Same thing we do on the tennis courts. You can't beat me because I'm not going to let you. It's a disgust, ain't it? These men got this in their fucking houses with them. God damn. I know they want to get rid of them. I'm glad I don't have one. Terry Ashford reporting for you. Closing this out for you right now. This report includes all the audio from all the videos done for you for the day of July 15th. One video was included for July 14th. And one video was added night for one for July 16th. July 15th, 2023 is the anniversary date of the uh, stabbing that was attempted by the African and to lie, uh, today is July 15th here. Well, Terry Dwayne Asher is the same one is bringing you this report. What we also want to come back and want to say here is a pattern that we think that we're safe to to uh, speak of right now. Usually when a woman like this comes uh, in the middle of the night like this with her two kids, what she's doing primarily is trying to protect, having gotten information that the little mad badass little nigger faggot that got ran off may have gotten mad and may have gone and gotten a gun or something to have tried to come after me. I believe this woman and the kids are here to show uh, the little badass faggots who they fucking with uh, by bringing uh, back up to stay here uh, in the park with me. I'm Terry Asher reporting for you here that I took a step back there and I thought and that is usually many times so what the pattern is there's one that's coming to be on my side to show me what's happening and there is another one that's out there trying to work the seat. It is believed that that particular black male who got ran off here thinking he was bad now have gone back and tried to spark up something with some fucking hood men uh, and uh, that, that particular gang activity was picked up by the women who brought the two little boys here to remind the little faggots who they fucking with. Their own people. They're too illiterate to know unless you remind them. They fuck with their own people and I think that's what the smart, what the women or the woman uh, may have tried here in the pink jogging pants and the black top with the two kids. Yeah, they're sitting right here. They're waiting on the little black faggots who got mad, who thought that I was a sissy, and so I wasn't.